Hey everybody. So last year in 2023 I did a video, or actually two videos, about Windows S mode. And one of the videos was sort of a rant and also showing um, just raw video of me getting out of S mode on a computer without using a Microsoft account. And the other video was more or less a tutorial of the same thing, getting out of Windows 11 Home in S mode without a Microsoft account. And you know, this S mode, it just, it's so ridiculous. It's like, what's the purpose of it? So, for example, yesterday, um, at my place of work, we had a student come into the lab. They were needing assistance with getting um, signed up for Cisco Net Academy, or Networking Academy, something like that. Um, it's an IT class that some of our students in the engineering division have to take and it was an online class and so one of the things that they had to do was be able to um, download and install software on the computer which of course a lot of students are on a budget and in some cases all they can afford is either a Chromebook or a very basic laptop and the thing is very basic laptops tend to come with Windows 11 Home and S mode now this student needed the laptop to be able to download and install software and actually use it like a computer. Now of course S mode prevents you from doing that. It only allows you to use like signed Microsoft apps through the App Store and things like Edge for example. You don't have access to command prompt, you don't have access to a lot of different things and it's just so ridiculous. So I mean this lady comes in um, with her Chromebook and I told her it was like you're going to need a uh, uh, Windows <clears throat> laptop more likely for this and she said she just bought one and handed it to me brand new base model HP with the Celeron CPU all the good stuff and of course as soon as I turned it on I knew it was S mode so for starters Windows 11 as many of you probably know wants to force you to sign into the uh, internet just to set up your computer well Normally there's an easy way to bypass using the command, but when you're in S mode you can't do that because command prompt is disabled. You can press Shift F10 on the um, setup screen all you want and nothing's going to happen. So I ended up taking some time to get the stupid thing out of S mode without using the Microsoft account. I went back and referred to my own video and walked through the steps of how to do that. It's a two-step process. you got to first go in and change a key in the registry and then you have to go and turn off secure boot. It's two things you have to do. And was able to get this new computer out of S mode and was able to then bypass the requirement for uh, internet. That way we could set the thing up with a local account. And that way I could help this person out with getting into a computer setup. And it's just <laughs> this, this S mode. It's like, what is the whole purpose of this S mode? Well, I think we know what it is. It's Microsoft trying to force their services on people which, I mean, they already do that enough in the regular edition of Windows 11. But in S mode, it's even worse. So it's like S mode, when it came out, it was originally called Windows 10 S. And it was supposed to be like a more secure version of Windows because it forced you to use Microsoft signed apps and all that good stuff. It was basically Microsoft trying to be like a Chromebook. And when that flopped, you knew for a fact they weren't going to give up the whole S thing. Instead of calling it a, a different edition of Windows, they um, instead called it S mode. So you have Windows 10 Home in S mode and Windows 11 Home in S mode. Okay, <clears throat> here's the thing. So to officially get out of S mode, you have to use a Microsoft account because you have to sign into the store to download the um, Get Out of S mode app or something like that. I forget the exact name of it, but it's like. I mean, they don't charge you for that, but they want you to use a Microsoft account, and it's just such an irritating thing for techs, because we're not going to use our own Microsoft accounts on someone else's computer to get their computer out of S mode. No, not going to happen. It's just so ridiculous. And I just wanted to shoot this little video, I know it's not really too much of a video, but I did want to talk about this a little bit, because I, this week I had a, like I say, I had a student come in to the lab, they'll need assistance with their computer, and, and of course they buy this, you know, they'll buy this cheap computer because it's all they can afford, and it's got this stupid S mode garbage on it, and it's like, 
Why? What's the purpose? What is the purpose? I mean, back in the good old days of, I mean, cheap computers, <laughs> for example, netbooks. Um, now, of course, with Windows 7, netbooks came with Windows 7 starter. Um, you were limited to a few different things, like, for example, you couldn't change your desktop background and stuff like that, and there were some certain hardware requirements as well. But you could download and install uh, third-party apps, like, for example, third-party browsers like Chrome or Firefox. You could have access to the command prompt and things like that. And it's just this S mode. They need to just get rid of it, in my opinion. They really need to just get rid of it. And unfortunately, um, while I really did want to do a video of getting this brand new computer out of S mode, I couldn't because uh, the owner was kind of needing it out as soon as possible. And I didn't want to um, keep her waiting with her young child in her electronics lab. So I just went ahead and just got it out of S mode at my desk and we went through the rest of the setup process and got it done. But what I might do is I might try to simulate a, a new computer in S mode. Um, that's something I'm going to have to figure out how to do. But once I do it, I'll definitely have to get a video posted to show you how to get a brand new computer out of S mode. So that way, if you don't have a Microsoft account, and let's say you don't have internet access, you can set up your brand new computer without having, without being limited by, you know, the S mode garbage. So, anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video from QCareer Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and tick the bell so you get notified of a new video I post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends to get the word out. In addition, I have a second YouTube channel that's QCompMTDX. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.